everybody. This video is gonna be a lot different from normal. A lot, hopefully this is more conversational and more informal than my typical videos. But I wanted to kind of just share some of the thoughts I've been having. I didn't really like write a script out or anything for this. I kind of just wanted to talk and have an open conversation about it. So I was kind of thinking about, you know, the pursuit of fire. Um, it's pretty in intimidating. Like thinking that you as a young person, one, know enough about investing, know enough about your future to, to try and retire at an early age. That's pretty scary. It's uncommon. But it's also like, what's the alternative? You know, the alternative is you go to work for the rest of your life. And I don't know who wants to do that. Like, obviously there's outliers and, and people that absolutely love their job. But for the most part, people like us, people in the US, I don't feel like you know, just every person wants to work, but they're working for something. And that's kind of what I think is important to look deeper into. So I know I'm going to work every day, you know, of course there's a, the obligations to my boss, to the company and to society to work, but I know that I have a long-term plan and that's why I'm working. I have to trade my time for money now so that I can achieve the goals I've set out for myself. But for people that don't really have these long-term goals, like if, no, if you're not like trying to retire or something and you're just trying to work so you can make money, like what's the point in that? Yeah, you can buy a new iPhone every year, you can buy a fancier car, but when is enough going to be enough? I know that people like you and I, people that are trying to retire early and achieve financial freedom, you know, we're, we're an anomaly. We're way out of the norm, but that should be encouraging because we are trying to live differently and we're trying to create a world that's different for us. You know, we can't change the rest of the world, but we can change our own world and the way we approach things and in the, the way we live our life. And I know that for me, financial freedom is not about money. Yes, financial freedom is all about money, but for me, I want to achieve financial freedom so that I don't have to worry about money because I don't care about it. Like, yeah, it can, it can get you things and get you places, but I'm more interested in life experiences and more interested in seeing the world and in creating art and music. And I know that through financial freedom, I can do these things without being inhibited by money. I know that for me, life is way too short to spend the majority of it sitting at a desk until I'm old. And I'm sure you feel the same way because you clicked on this video and you're interested in financial freedom, maybe you're, maybe you're already there, or maybe you're pursuing it. And I wanna encourage you to keep striving for it. It's a, it's a pretty intimidating task to think about saving up all that money and changing your life, but I really believe that you can achieve any goal you set out for yourself if, if you're dedicated enough to making that happen. When I discovered financial independence and the fire movement, my entire perspective of the world changed. And it was like a very exciting time in my life. I remember I used to talk with my parents and specifically like, I remember a conversation I had my, with my dad and we were talking about work and I was like, I don't wanna work. I don't care about making the money. I just wanna like, hang out and make art. And he was like, well, you have to work. Like that's how the world runs is working. And that's true, but there is an answer to that. There's a way to change that. And that's what I found through the fire movement. 
And I know there's a lot of sides of the finance world. Like, you know, there's the people that are all about entrepreneurship, all about being as rich as you can be. And, and you know, there's a valid point to all that. Like luxury and riches, it's a pretty cool lifestyle, I'm sure. But for me, it opened my eyes to, to realize that there's a bigger picture to the world and you're, and we're just like getting started. That's, that's what I think is super cool. And in, and like what I'm so driven towards financial independence is because once I achieve financial freedom, that's only the beginning of an even bigger journey. Yeah. Saving up a million dollars, like being able to say you have that much money. That's a, that's an awesome achievement. And I'll be proud of that one day, but what I'm way more excited about is what comes after that. I know that for me, achieving financial freedom is going to be the start to a more intimidating task, which is figuring out my place in the world, figuring out myself because yeah, right now I, I do try to reflect on things and grow as a person. And I think that's really important, but I'm distracted by that eight hours a day with work, which also gives me an excuse when I get home to forget about that and not uh, pursue what I believe to be things that will continue to make me a, a stronger person, either mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, whatever it is, it's, it's hard enough to get up and go to work every day and come home and maybe exercise and eat something right. So by achieving financial freedom, I'll then have time to dedicate to those things, which will be a journey of self discovery. Like I know that I'm so young, compared to most people in the world, I haven't really experienced a lot of cultures. I haven't even experienced a lot of life lessons still that are to come. And I'm really excited about all those, all those lessons that I'm going to gain from getting older. And I used to really think that getting older sounded pretty bad. I was like, I do not want to get old and gray. That sucks. But as I've experienced things and gotten a little bit older, you know, I finished college and started working and all that. I definitely grew up a lot and it kind of makes me look forward to the future because that means that with age comes wisdom and it comes life lessons and maturity and more memories to be happy about and more people to meet and love, more dogs in your life to experience. And like, I, I think about how cool it would be to be like all old and gray and be like Gandalf the Gray or Dumbledore. Like imagine being a wise old wizard and you're just like a weird guy living in the woods that like knows a lot about everything. Sometimes I have friends or acquaintances that I'll talk to about my plan to retire early. And they kind of, you know, say, oh, that's nice, but I could never do that. I, I couldn't invest. I don't have money to invest. I, you know, whatever. And, and I get it, you know, you gotta embrace the moment and live in the now, but it kind of frustrates me sometimes because, you know, inevitably we're all going to get older unless we die. And in that case, it doesn't matter how much money you have when you die but it's likely that these people will get older and instead of thinking about their future, they're spending it at McDonald's. They're, they're, you know, buying beer every weekend. And when people, when my friends talk to me and they're like, well, I just don't have enough money to spare to invest. I'm like, well, how'd you go to the bar last weekend? Or, you know, I, they buy a new car, stuff like that. And it, it's just like, sometimes I wonder 
how priorities end up where they are. And people like you and I have different priorities than those type of people. And that that's okay because we're all trying to figure out our life and do what we think is best for ourselves. But a lot of times I just can't understand why someone like how, how do you not pursue financial independence? How do you not pursue fire? Because it leads to an elevated life. It leads to a better existence in the long run. It leads to freedom and control of yourself for the first time. We're, we're kind of pretty much grown up like we're born under the control of our parents and school, which is a good thing. We need to be educated and we need to be guided on how to be a good person and understand what it means to be living in a community. And then you go to college and you don't have time to live. You got, you're too busy doing schoolwork there. And then you go to work. And these are just different phases of our life that we don't have control of. But through financial freedom, you can gain control. You can literally buy back your time for the first time. So it frustrates me when people seem to blow it off all the time because to me it should be one of the most important things in your life because it can lead to a better existence in the long run and on top of that by having more control of your time and more freedom you can pursue what truly matters to yourself for me I really am passionate about nature and the environment. I love making music. One of the goals I have is to write and record an album. I like art. I like to paint and draw. And these things are always going to be a part of me and something I'm always going to pursue. So it makes sense to me that it's unlikely I can be successful monetarily through art and music and just hiking so it makes sense to me to find a way to make that where I can prioritize what brings me happiness instead of trading the rest of my life I'm trading a little bit of time now by working hard and investing a lot of my paycheck so that I can soon probably 10 years from now work on art music and go hiking any day of my liking it's it's pretty amazing to think about like one day I can wake up and whatever I choose to do with my life I can accomplish that day and on top of that it also means that I have more time to pursue a better understanding of myself and my place in the world I can I can focus on growth mentally and spiritually and pursue things that I've never had time to do outside of that. Like, I really think it'd be awesome to visit every national park, but on a bigger global scale, imagine going to all these different cultures and, and places in the world, and it like changes your perspective of how people live. I spent a summer in Italy, and that was really eye-opening, because I went from a small town, kind of, you know, where I can go five minutes and I'm in the woods somewhere. And now going to Italy, these people live in really dense areas and such a different style of living. And it's really eye-opening. And there's so many different cultures around the world that are like that. Like people in New York, it's crazy to me. Like, pe like people living in New York, I can't even comprehend what that's like to live. With this channel, I really hope to bring value to the fire community and hopefully bring value to you. But I want to emphasize that, yes, finances are important and they need to be covered and understood on this, on this path. But what's more important to me is the, is the part that comes after you figure out the finances, which is figuring out yourself, which you have your whole life to do once you reach financial independence. And I think that could be a scary thing. It should be a scary thing, but it's a good thing because one day we're all gonna die. 
one day we're all gonna be old and what's important is the stories and the memories and the lives you touched on the way there and that's what excites me that's why I want to keep working on this channel and sharing stuff like this so that I can help other people change their lives I'm not I'm not financially free yet and I still go to work every day but that doesn't mean I can't share this stuff and and help someone else change their life I just feel like the world's kind of too wrapped up in in money and TikTok stuff and social media it's like who cares like you're scrolling through Instagram and you see someone post a picture in front of a mirror like that doesn't bring value to anything. What's more important is, is the lives you touch and the memories you make. So I hope that conversations like this can do that for you. I just wanted to share a few of my thoughts and stuff I've been going over in my head. And uh, I hope that it gives you encouragement and and that you keep down this, this path because I know it's it's a long road, but it's definitely worth it. And you're, you're doing the right thing for yourself. If you, if you need to chat or have any questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Anyone that watches video, anyone that subscribes, I appreciate you and appreciate your time and commitment to me and the journey I'm on too. Until next time, let's keep this fire spreading.